Welcome to Puck in the Padko, and the Padko is packed. I am Mama Tebe. Fill the fishing fish, fill the fishing fish. Fill my name, fin fin, shing, shing. <clears throat> Arsene Wenger is a better manager than Pep Guardiola. Yeah, I know a lot of you are going to say, what about the stats and the trophies? Don't let things like facts stand between you and a good time. You're part of the problem. You're part of the problem. Let's talk about Wenger for a little bit. The professor, for those of us who respect. This man revolutionized English soccer. Before Wenger, English football was Cop and Donda. It was like Loftus Festfault. Before Wenger, having a hairy chest and sleeping with your brother's wife was acceptable. Shout out to Ryan Giggs. Hey, United fans, you thought I was going to leave you out of this. Never. He brought in sophistication, culture, and French. Shang a French boy. Hmm? Get a croissant. He brought in a different level of class. He brought in the influx of French players. He brought in the best French players. He brought in some of the best black players. And he brought some of the best French black players. Here's the thing about the professor, Arsene Wenger. He had a great eye for talent. He would scour the parts of Europe and South America, finding these beautiful, talented players and selling them every year. Thierry Henry, the king. Cesc Fabregas. Alexandra Schleb. Ashley Cole. Alexis Sanchez. It wasn't really his fault. I, I think um, the subtitles on the contract <laughs> him over. Robin Van Persie. <laughs> Judas. Thank <laughs> you. You know, it's like selling your best player every year, a player that you found in the, like, the obscurities of Europe. That's like finding a hot, beautiful girl and making her your girlfriend. You find in some, 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 some deserted village, you bring this girl to the city, you teach her English, hmm? you teach her how to use a fucking knife, hmm? you even teach her how to make an omelette. What sophistication, yan? Then after a year, a rich <laughs> girl comes and takes her away from you. Yeah, it's not, it wasn't nice, I won't lie to you. Now you're seeing her like smiling and <laughs> shit. And she wasn't smiling with you. Oh, she's, she's playing in a jumping castle. She says she didn't, she didn't like how it felt when she was with you. She never liked jumping castles. Now she's, she's playing with a hula hoop. Like, where did you learn to do that with your waist? Look what you're doing anti-clockwise. That's you wild, girl. <laughs> you are something else. It still hurts. Thank you, Moshe. You know what you did. For sake. Pep Guardiola had a blank checkbook everywhere he went, right? He never had to worry about money. Arsene Wenger was competing for top four every season while selling his best player and not affording to buy better players. And he still built a stadium during that time and he still won a shit out of FA Cups in that time. Look, anyone can see, oh, Pep's got one more trophies, but did he do it while building a stadium? Exactly. It's not a competition, but it is. We went an entire season undefeated. And by the way, we're not the ones facing 115 charges. Chocolate out. Drops in the pal mic. It's quiet. Gravity has taken the microphone. It's no longer with us. The microphone's in a better place, guys.